Liliana anatafuta mtu ako na qualifications gani? Atatuambia kikuja. But she's looking for a sales person. Yes, atatuambia what's available. I want you to interview my CV then advise if I need a revamp. Back it's okay. Yeah, so if you need a CV review or a screening, we do not charge, we do it for free. Becky, I believe you know that. So you just share the CV to 0702 Yes, that's it. So screening, when we check your CV, we do not charge you, it's free. We let you know if it needs a revamp or not. If it needs a revamp, it has to be revamped, then you have to pay 1500 for revamping. Um, thereafter, you can get an interview prep. Interview prep is only 1000 Uh How would you know if you need an interview prep? Come on, we can in the interview, then you can have fear. You can't face a recruiter in the face. You can use a maswali, you freak out. Uh, then you need an interview prep. Eh? It just gets you ready for your interview. That's why we do an interview prep. So we give you all the answers. Eh? Because there are some answers you give an employer and you're disqualified, not knowing. That's one of the major areas I've realized people have an issue. And then, unendo uh, kiogopa, too much fear. Instead of having a dialogue, unapata unogopa ogopa. So we help you get the confidence. We interview so many times until una get comfortable. Whenever ukisha fanyo interview prep na sisi, whenever you have an interview, you call us in the morning, we take you through it. Kenda pale interview ko ready. You're ready for it. The how would you know that you need a CV revamp is come kwa kutuma CV yako na unapata how party employment. Nataka iangaliwe, just share with us, we check it out. If it's okay, we'll tell you the CV, it's okay. If it's not, unaitaji revamp, we'll let you know. Cover letter the same. Cover letter is just a letter that you use to attach uh, with the CV. Um, yeah, so if you feel that uh, you're not able to do a good letter, we can do it for you, 500. So you can take either of the services on its own or all of them together. So choice ni yako. Yeah, so Biki, thank you for the reminder. Just do that. Drop that uh, CV to 0702-622-961. I'm looking for a sales job. Stick around for Lillian to come back. Stick around. Mostly cars though haven't done anything to do with clearing. Ah, Steve, stick around Lillian and Rudy. Stress na magari. Stick around. Watch a Lillian and Rudy. Yes. So, can you start? Tuanze kazi. <laughs> Let's start. Tuanze kazi. Mm-hmm. So if I don't read any of your messages, um, understand? Understand? Uh, thereafter, there's an event we have that's coming up. I will give you more details when Salsa is here. Lillian, when you're ready, just make a request. And laugh will accept. Let me see what Salsa get to join. That's why I'm here when he's around. Un, unajua kuhusu cut exam criteria coordinator to test 50 question in 15 minutes. Yeah, Kinova. What help do you need from that? What do you do? We share jobs that are available, Taizi, Rakita. That's what we do. And uh, some advice on uh, employment, sometimes of employment, areas that you could benefit from, all that. If you speak English and French and is it right to apply if you know not French? No. If they want, if the requirement is French and you don't speak French, don't apply. Don't apply because you'll be wasting their time. There's no need. Let people who understand French, French apply. Hey, confirm. connect, connect. Sawa, sawa. So there's a position of an assistant accountant. Highlands. Highlands plant. There's a position of um, assistant accountant. Assistant accountant. This is a hubs production company that is interested in hiring an assistant accountant. Uh, the requirement is uh, CPA part two. Oh, that's the issue solo. Okay, so 
how do we help you with that? I have someone who's good with it. Um, just inbox me, I'll connect you with them. Okay, so look, inbox me, I'll connect you with them. So assistant accountant position requirement is CPA part two, CPA part two, uh, two years of working experience. Uh, you need to have experience in Sage, Pastel, and QuickBooks. The rest is not important. That's it. So if you do me that and you're interested in this job, do you have any accountants here? To call accountants. Accountants? Any accountants? Any, any, any? All right. See paper two. Okay. Share your CV too. And this is a good email. This is the email that I said that you one of some of the emails that I ask you to keep and keep sharing once in a while, once in a while. So the email is hr hr at highland highland plants highland plants dot co dot ke hr at highland plants dot co dot ke feel free to type the email here so that I can confirm. Ah okay Mbaiza ask him to get in touch. Ask him to get in touch. HR at Highlands Plant dot co dot ke dot co dot ke that's a good job let me see you copy 43 minutes ago that job was posted 43 minutes ago take advantage of it eh? take advantage of that job host follow back <laughs> engineer probably you have a reason to make a request why not Engineer Obende. It's done. Obende. Should should the job experience requirement deter you from applying a job? No. Okay, it depends. It depends. It depends if it's it's part of the main or part of the minor requirements. If it's a main requirement, then uh yes, it should. But either way, just make an application. You never know. Do I know of share logistics? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. The recruitment farm as well. Uh, and the job, and then, yes, 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 yes. That sh it's a recruitment farm. That's what recruitment farms do. Renewable energy. So Lillian is here. Let's just bring Lillian on. Hi, Lillian. Hello, Sasa. how are you? I'm fine. It's a mingi sana. <laughs> yeah, we haven't talked for many days. Yes, welcome to our live. Thank you. You're doing such a good job, man. Thank you. Thank you. Started from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I keep but... telling people, you're among, yeah. the, you're among the first people to interview me in my life. Actually, for me, I actually left HR uh -huh. like completely, Kabisa. Although you know, like I've been sales all along, yeah. Mm. So I still do interview people, but like not as deeply as when I was doing the HR stuff, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. More of sales department. More of sales, yes. You know, the other day we ah. talked about uh, us looking for a salesperson. But then uh, I yes. just realized it was so close to December. And you know how difficult it is to employ him just close towards December, that is, yeah? Mm, that's true. So that's true. We're still sourcing. We are still sourcing for suitable candidates. But I think uh, because we, for us, you see, like, uh, for us, we employ, like, two-year contracts, yeah? So, and uh, everyone is renewing in January. So, right now, in December, okay. we... Between right now and December, we'll be, we'll be looking for the suitable person. And then uh, we can engage them from January mm -hmm. officially, God willing. Okay, okay. How many yeah. people do you need for that position? Uh, well, you see, with sales, I think what, okay, the ones that we are looking to employ permanently is about uh, three but uh, then we know we usually take as many freelancers as uh, freelancers as 20 yeah but normally you see the people who, even when you're employing the oh, people who, oh. who are actually given the priority are the freelancers who have proven that they can sell 
So they are, they are, I actually mostly have an upper hand, mm-hmm. but that doesn't mean that uh, you can't go ahead and apply. Because like for me, when I went to this truck industry, I didn't have any kind of experience with vehicles, with cars. I only had like experience with motorcycles and some other sales from other stuff, yeah? Okay. So that shouldn't stop yes. you because you know mostly when we are when we when we are advertising the positions we usually see someone with a vehicle experience, like they have an added advantage, but it's not mm-hmm. always the case. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so right. The meaning anyone can apply and get it. Yeah. Well, you see, what I usually see is that um, uh, anyone can learn almost anything. Like for me, when I shifted from human resources and admin mm-hmm. to sales department, it didn't take me a lot of like uh, a lot of like time to uh, to know things in the sales sales industry. So yeah, if you're confident enough and you're willing to learn, yeah. you can always even start as a freelancer. You can and uh, you can go up to getting the employment. But uh, if maybe you're confident enough, then you want to take the employment. Probably mm-hmm. that's what you should just um, uh, apply for. Mm, okay okay so if you can tell us uh, what you expect from freelancers and uh, how should they be engaged you before they the founders yeah. um, you see like for if we engage you as a freelancer for me i'm heading sales so uh, the option is always that you report to the sales manager or whomever is heading sales. So, and all you have to do is to find leads, uh, hand them over to the salesperson or the sales manager. They will handle the lead for you, and you'll be paid your commissions. That's how the freelancers work. And mm-hmm. there's no restriction; like you shouldn't. Th- there's okay. no number of. Uh, there's no. Th- there's actually no like number of units that you're required to sell. Once you get into a contract or employment with the company, you are, you, you are supposed to sell at least five units in a month. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, okay. but so if you're confident that you can do three to five, then apply for the full-time job. If you're not sure that and you would want to learn a little bit, we offer, we offer a training for free. You only have to come to our office. Uh, we will assess you, uh, and if you're willing to take up work as a freelancer, then uh, we will get started. We'll give you t- free training, we'll give you the materials. Sometimes we facilitate even uh, transport and airtime, should you even pass the freelancer interview, and then you can get started. Mm. So, And you see, normally the packages are very attractive, because normally what happens, you'll be required like to sell mm. trucks, for example. If you're focusing on the bigger trucks like the tippers, the package is about a is about a hundred thousand commission alone, yeah. So you can decide if you are selling as a freelancer, you mm-hmm. can sell one truck, and if that's enough for you, fine. If you wanna sell three trucks as a freelancer, it's still fine. This one has no restriction. We don't even check who you're working with at that point because you're not. It's not. It's not necessarily a full time job. You can work an, a number of days in a week. Okay. So that means I could engage somewhere, but still come in for a training, get yeah. trained, and work as a freelancer with you yeah, that, and earn my one. commissions. Yes, that one you, you just report directly uh-huh. to whomever is heading sales. They will handle the leads for you, provided that you communicate before you're sending a client that these are client I talk to, then the commission part will be honored. Like I said, the other the other option, uh, people find it more difficult mm-hmm. because it comes with a lot of uh, requirements, okay, and also a, a lot of like a lot is expected from you. Mm. So uh, okay, okay, yeah. All right. Um, okay, so if you are to be confirmed as a permanent, yeah, uh, what is the salary range? What do you expect to be within, rather a starting salary? Okay, that is if you're getting into a contract. Because you see, the way uh, the vehicle industry is, we hardly employ permanently because uh, due to the fact that people get start getting comfortable. So you have to know that at least every two years you'll be renewing your contract. So it's actually the sales, it's actually the numbers which keep, mm-hmm. keep, you, uh, keep you there, yeah? 
But let me tell you one thing, Esther. Uh, yeah. th- th- there's nothing like uh, starting salary anywhere. Because, you know, I've interviewed people and I've seen people come in with a package of t- uh, 35000 as a starting because that's what they negotiated for. And I've seen people come in still in sales and starting mm-hmm. with 150 because, you know, at the end of the day, what they look at is experience and also what you're bringing to the table. You know? Yes. So what I usually tell yes. people yes. is actually what you convince the company yes. you're bringing to the table because there's, there's still a person who will still go to sales and negotiate for 250000 you know? So it depends on yes. how much you can bring. And yes. you see, there's, there's no restriction of how much a person can earn because someone might even come, be coming negotiating for 50, but at the end of the day, going with a half a million. Because if they can sell uh, five seven, to seven trucks, then that, that's how much they can go with uh, with the commissions combined. So it's your effort okay. at the end of the day. So that's okay. why you, you find that uh, there are so many people who are freelancers okay. and they are comfortable working as freelancers. They never want to be employed. Yeah. Yeah, but as it is right now, I'm still I'm still okay. taking on okay. this because yeah. even with freelancers, we still have to do the interviewing. We we still have to interview even even if it's a freelancer. And come to an yes. agreement at least to work together. All right. The question is what are the requirements for those who want to join as freelancers? Well, uh, freelancers, again, we usually say that if you have any prior kind of experience in sales, that's all you need. Like if you have, uh, then at least you have uh, to have some uh, your high school diplomas, you have to have some college training, and then you have at least to have some sales of some sort, yeah? You have to understand customer service. So, and then uh, if uh, from whatever you have sold, it doesn't necessarily need to be vehicles. If it's satisfactory that you can be able to take up new training, then uh, if you're shortlisted as a freelancer, what will happen is that you will come in, uh, we will do the interview, and if you pass, then we will tell you this, how it's going to go, whether we agree on it's just the airtime or it's just the transport that you're going to facilitate, then it's going to be kept as that. Uh, and then you start delivering on your units, and then uh, you are told uh, if you deliver on these trucks, uh, these are the commission. The kind of the, you'll be given the commission guide for freelancers. Yes. The only thing you should know is that yes. for freelancers, commissions are only payable when the full payment has been received by the company, not just when you introduce a lead and we start the processing at the bank. So every coin has to have come through for you to claim your commission. Hmm. Yeah, so that's the only okay. thing. And then for freelancers, other than maybe that you might be considered for either the transport or the uh, airtime, there's no retainer. They, like, there's no any kind of salary that you're going to be given other than the commissions. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So, so you the, can hear just what we... Yes, go on, go on again. There are some people who are asking... Uh, okay, does your company sell trucks only or do you also hire? We only sell trucks. We sell trucks only selling. We don't do hire to people who actually have bought trucks and they hire them for business. Like that's the nature of, the, that's what they do for, uh, for Biashara, yeah? yeah? And for those who are asking whether we are located in Nairobi or Mobasa, we in Nairobi, Mobasa Road, yeah? Name of the company? Uh, name of the company is Trackmat Africa, uh, Trackmat Africa Limited or Ashok Leyland Kenya. Whichever you like, but if you're sending applications, uh, you should just send it, like send your application to my email, which is Lelian with a single L at leyland.co.ke. I'll, I'll type it there so that whomever wants to send the application, they can do that, yeah? Yes. Yes, I think that's 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 proper information. That's proper information. So now they need to indicate. So when you make application, indicate if you want to come in as a freelancer, or if you're looking for work permanent. Because if you have experience in selling vehicles, then you can apply for a permanent position. But if you're going in for training, freelancing, 
even if you have experience and you want freelancing indicate that you're looking for a freelance position and yeah. i can see lilian has typed the email which is a uh, single l lilian at leyland can you guys see it dot co dot ke and it's a sales position yes yeah. that's a sales position so if anyone who has a question sales consultant sales executive a freelancer sales whichever one you would like to 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 apply for mm mm whoever is okay. asking there is a person asking where specifically along mobasa road we are opposite samia business park and along masai road yeah? but mm. uh, uh don't 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 walk in to drop your cvs because most likely they must they might be missed share them on email yeah because uh, by sharing okay. them on email we'll be able to filter them out and then uh, but we'll only contact the people who have been shortlisted okay yeah. okay there you have it now any other question for lilian any other question for lilian i've been wanting to offer these positions to them for so long eh <laughs> yeah i think wow. that's actually the best time because you see like uh, we are almost concluding the year and you see if there's a uh, There's a time we hire January is a, always like a big time for companies to do the hiring yeah because uh yeah. with uh, with some of the contracts coming to an end some people don't even renew so uh so it's the best time if you if you want to apply for January it's better to start uh sending your applications now between now and December mm mm agreed agreed Very well, Lillian. That's that's a good job, and I'm very sure you will get so many CVs. <laughs> Brace I yourself. <laughs> I will. I will appreciate, and I'll also update you in case maybe I'm successful in getting a person from here. I'll also come yes. back and um, update. Yes, and I hope they won't let you down. I hope they do their job properly. Um, I would also want to ask: Do you have positions in other areas? And if someone wanted to apply as a position of uh, probably admin, HR. a receptionist what's the email to share the cv to if you want other positions you should send it to info at leilad info at leilad just the way i have indicated lelian now you you share to info at leilad.co.ke because that takes care of accounts it takes care of uh, operations it takes care of accounting hr and admin in in my place are actually uh, combined yeah So okay. yeah so anything else other than sales you should share the email to info@leila.co.ke but then i don't i have not heard of any positions being announced as it now but then it doesn't do any harm sending your cv because uh when they start hiring also uh you might you may be considered if you have dropped your cv there otherwise you can still send it to Lilian if i see that is another position that you're applying for I can only share it with the other departments. Uh, that's amazing. That's amazing. There's a gentleman here called Steve who's asking how long does it take to train a freelancer? Uh it doesn't take more than a week. It it it, it actually depends on how fast you can grasp the information because you see here you are learning about products. Some people I train them in a day or we train them in a day. Some people we train them in weeks because maybe they don't understand the products as quickly as others do. So it yes. depends it's actually it, it depends with a person and where they are coming from because obviously someone who has been handling vehicles motorcycles and the likes uh, or even power products is easier for them to maybe understand the trucks than someone who is coming from a totally different like maybe um dealing with uh, supermarket goods or other consumable goods yeah Yes so, Yeah so it depends on how fast you can grasp the, the information and the, for the for the lady asking whether we offer in, uh, internship op- opportunities yes we do but for this one there's an organization that sets the interns uh, i've not seen them like uh, just employing the way we do because i think there are some organizations that we have gotten into into partnership with so after training they said they said uh, uh, the people who are looking for it, internship but again if you want internship it doesn't do any harm from sending your application and stating the same we can also try and see mm. where you can fit in yeah, amazing amazing there it is we've gotten jobs from all corners all areas sasa 
make an application. So freelancers, if you want to do something on the side, make some money on the side, that's a good job to take. And they're going to train you. Uh, what is Becky saying? If I come in as a freelance, am I the one looking for the truck buyer? Am I given a, oh my God. Yes, Becky, if you come in as a freelancer or a salesperson, your work is to look for those buyers. It's actually to generate, you're the one who would generate. <laughs> Yeah, you see what happens. We generate our own leads, like mm. from the call center. We have our own call center. But if you're coming in as a freelancer, you're not considered for those leads. Those leads normally go to the salespeople. So what happens is uh, for you, if you're coming as a freelancer, then it's your work uh, to look for the customers. Then it's also your work to direct the customers to the salesperson or the sales manager that you're reporting to so that your customer can be assisted. Because, like I said again, you'll only be com you'll mm. only be paid your commission once the lead that you have brought to us has gone through and has paid all the amount. That's the only time you'll get a learning from the company. Exactly, exactly. All right, Lillian. Uh, yeah. I think uh, you've given them good information. That proper information for them. And there's another there's another all areas and how to make applications. There's a there's a there's another lady here asking about uh yes, please call go. center call center agent. We don't hire the call center agents from our company. That is a separate company that's also in partnership with us. So uh the company which is call uh having call center activities for us is called Tronix. So what you can go what you can do is to go to their website. You can search Coltronics Kenya, like call Tronics Kenya and search whether they are actually hiring. But that one I cannot be able to tell when they are hiring because with, with call centers, you'll find most of the times they are hiring. But it's better you check from their website. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, so you have a call center department. Yeah, we also have a call center department that handles all the like inquiries. Oh, we don't right. do that in house. Yeah. Okay. Belinda is saying, type the name of the company, please, of the call center. Have you seen it? Um, what was the name? Belinda Becky? It's called Tronics. Hope you've seen it. Call Tronics Kenya. Simply call C A W L and then Tronics T R O N I C S Kenya. Call Tronics. Yeah, you've got it. You've got it. Wow. Any other queries for Lillian? Any other queries for Lillian? Good evening, Subra. How are you? Lillian, do you still do bike riding? Yeah, I do bike riding. I've been doing that. Oh, you cannot stop okay. this car. Once you start bike riding, I don't know what, what it is with that thing. You cannot stop. I tried stopping, by the way, sometimes back. Mm. I had gathered all my courage and I convinced myself I'm going to stop riding. So I stopped for one year. Yeah? Yes. How uh -huh. I held myself back at it, I don't know. So I've been riding for like, I don't know for how long. 10 years now? 10 years? 11 years? I remember when I, when I think when, uh, when we were together, that's when you're starting on the riding journey. Yes, back so then, then so it's been so back then, yeah. yeah then you know like when i moved from there i moved to another company which was doing the bigger bikes pmg yes. so yes. And that like because again i started handling sales from there i used to to ride like very far i would go to garissa i would go to meru i would go to mabasa to go and on a bike sales. yeah it's quite fun wow doing that so i think wow I, I, and I, how about you so Sorry. In training, no training. I went to AA, but there's quite a number of many, like quite a number of biking schools which have come up now, especially in current area. But still, if you're mm. still to know, like uh, you can still go to AA. They do training for the motorbikes. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Have you ever had any accident on the bike? No, no. I I thank God I've nice. never. Ten I've years never. plus. Hmm? You're good. <laughs> Yeah, okay, you might, you know, like, uh, the thing is, it's like when you're driving and you're on the road, it's not always about it, it's also about that other driver. I've, I think I've been knocked, like, slightly once by a Pro Box, 
on the side when they are overtaking oh, a trailer see. and then I was in front of the trailer so they assumed there was I think there was no one there so they overtook the trailer and then came to my lane so that's how they hit me but they they only pushed me slightly off the road so it wasn't something <laughs> like serious mm. but other than mm, that I've, yeah I've just been trying to be also safe maybe I've just been safeguarded God has been safeguarding me but I've never had had an accident but again, yeah, you know, continue. with thanks, you know, with uh, with writing is that you should always be having your gears. So that's maybe the biggest mistake that also uh, riders make. They, like you're seeing someone on the road, they don't have gloves, they don't have jackets, they don't have helmets, uh, they don't have mm. boots, knee guards. So it's very important yeah. for your safety. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Wow, those are many, many years in riding. You got <laughs> an accident, way, I, you must be a pro. You must be a pro. Sorry, how are you these days? Because we haven't talked for so many days. <laughs> I'll call you and tell you where I am. Many places. <laughs> okay, not to worry. You still have my number, yeah? Up and down. It's okay, not to worry. Yes, it's I still have your number. It's good Call. to see you here and to see Same you here. connecting people to the jobs. I think I'll have you to. I uh, will need to go because I need Thank to take you. the kids. Thank you for okay. the time. Like, thank you okay. for having me. Yeah? All right. We'll take the information. Oh. Okay. You're most welcome. Okay. Bye. Have a good evening. And you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Hi guys, Leo Kazi Metiwa. I have to take advantage of that company. It's a good company. It's a good company. Um, it's a very, very good company. Take advantage. You know, that's another way of having money on the side. Eh? You can sell vehicles at home, uh, still make your money. You could be employed, but still making money. Hmm? I love that. Eh? Yeah. So, suppose one more gentleman, one more gentleman, the hype man, the hype man. Where is he? <laughs> oh my God, he's not coming on. All right. Let me if he's here. Let me check it here one more time. Where? He knows he's supposed to be here. This is something not quite interesting to look at. So we're going to continue as we wait for the heaven. Okay. Which company? Um, the company is called Leyland. Thank you, Subra. Thank you, Subra. The company name is called Leyland, and they do sell trucks. So uh, they have the position of uh, freelancers and uh, perma not permanent contract employment. So it depends on where you be interested in. Mimi ni hype woman, Subra. That's a very interesting thing to say. Uh, let me follow. Oh, we, yeah, we follow each other. Uh, say hi on the text. Say hi on the inbox. <laughs> network is horrible. I don't think so. I don't think I have a network issue. So should we continue reading jobs? Let's continue reading the jobs. So now, um, what position is here? Business development officer. Business development officer. And this is uh, in Parkland, Nairobi. Not after internship at HR Nyambura. Okay, okay. Inbox me. Network. Do you have an issue with network? I thought I was doing better. Your network is, is not stable. Whoa. Okay. Network not stable. Nahang, I'm nini? Nahang. On my end, it's green. Vizuri sana. And my end is called green. Okay. So, Basi, so what the company was Leyland. L-E-Y-L-A-N-D. Network is now okay. Thank you, Subra. Yeah, say hi. Say hi. Mm. kwa inbox. <laughs> Hype woman. <laughs> Thank you, Maureen, for confirming. Thank you. I was beginning to wonder because on my end it's green. Rarely do I have network issues when it's green, so I don't know. Maybe it was a hitch. 
Uh, yeah, so there's a position of uh, business development officer, and this is in Parklands, Nairobi. Uh, qualification, diploma in sales and marketing, three years in a similar position. All right, excellent communication skills. Share your CV to recruitment, recruitment at aminika, aminika, aminika manpower dot com. Recruitment at aminika manpower dot com. Recruitment at aminika manpower dot com. We have this other, this other school, Chavakani High School, Chavakani High School. They need a bazaar, bazaar. They need an accounts clerk. They need the head cook, head cook. Applications with CV to go to who? Board of directors, oh, board of management in this case. BOM secretary, uh, 144. I think I'll share this on Facebook. But I don't know if they will accept it. Let me find a number. I'll give you a number to call instead. The position that's available is that of a bazaar. There's an account clerk and a head cook. Would you guys be interested? The school is called Kali. Would you guys be interested? Because I'm afraid that is in Oh, you can check it out on the website. The website is www.sabakaiskool.ca.ae. Let me take it out from Harpo. It was a pretend. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to do the settings. Anyway. 